Exodus 26, 7 says, Then you shall make curtains of goat's hair for the tent over the tabernacle, and you shall make eleven curtains in all. Now, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Exodus 26, 7 through 37, and I encourage you to read that passage. Why don't you try this experiment? Walk into a room with only a flashlight. Make sure the room can be completely dark, and after you turn out the lights, turn on that flashlight. As your eyes adjust to the light, or lack of it, think of what it must have been like in the tabernacle area known as the holy place. The only light that was available came from the lampstand because the coverings locked all the light out and locked all the darkness in. When everything around us is black, there is a light shining in that blackness, our eyes and our desire will be moved closer to the light. At one point, as we concentrate on the light, we can begin to forget the darkness that surrounds us. Our world is in darkness. We are surrounded by it. It envelops us. And if we focus on the dark, we become more and more depressed and more and more centered on ourselves. But as light shines in our lives, that's what we begin to focus on. John 3.19 tells us that the light has come into the world, but men love the darkness rather than the light because their deeds were evil. As we focus on the light, we grow closer to the light. More of us are revealed. The revelation uh, is a cleansing because we can see what we need to change. We need light to live. We need light to grow. We need light to fellowship with others. And it is through God's word, his Holy Spirit, and our life in Christ that we may gain more and more light. Those of us who desire change desire light. Those who don't want to change desire darkness. God made the tabernacle dark so that those inside could concentrate on the light. It is the light that cleanses us.